this is my uh, 1980 uh, rat mod bike I built I'm gonna take it out for a ride today I'm gonna to go to uh, pick up uh, vegetables from uh, produce from a farm my wife has an account with so this is a 200 like my other 200 it's the biggest engine that came in a in a shifting Vespa it's it's a nice little ride she's uh, she's um, well, I'll talk about the bike as I ride, but it's, you know, it's a rad mod bike. It's fashioned like 80s punk style bike. Like, uh... all right. All right, that's just an intro. I'll, I'll get my gear on and go for a ride. All right, let's go for a spin here. Go down my uh, overgrown lawn as usual. Oh, if you own scooters and you have a ton of hobbies, it takes longer to cut the lawn <laughs> lately. All right, so let's uh, this is my P two hundred. Um, I got it from uh, Brooklyn, New York, uh, while. Maybe like, I don't know, 11 years ago or more. And uh, it was hit by a car. And it was thrown behind a, a dumpster for six years in the rain. And uh, the owner uh, sold it to me for like 500 bucks. And it took a ton of work to build this thing back up. This bike feels similar to my other P, my rattle can red one that I have, red, gray, and blue. Um, slower than my other one, but uh, ride strong, nice bike. I rode this bike all over the place. Uh, I went to uh, Rhode Island uh, a few times, you know, a few times out of state. She's been around. New Jersey, upstate New York, from central Connecticut. Those are pretty long rides. Um, I'm going to stop for now and wait till I get to a more scenic area. Well, I'm in Southington, Connecticut, and I'm going over to Farmington to uh, get some uh, produce that my wife uh, gets every week. She has an order she picks up there every week, and I'm going to go pick it up. And it's out in the farm, so it's a little bit of a ride. It might be like a, I don't know, anywhere from 40 to 50 miles worth of riding. Um, it's a nice little roads back here. Nice new little back roads. Now up ahead I'll be passing uh, an amusement park called uh, Lake Compounds. And it's, uh, it's a very old uh, amusement park. It has the oldest, um, uh, one of the oldest uh, roller coasters, wooden roller coasters. 
It's very highly rated too. It's, it's fun to ride on it. It, uh, it almost feels like it's going to fall off its rails and it's all like it, it goes all. It has all these uh, wild little turns and up and downs. It's, it's for, for a wooden coaster. It's a fun coaster. I think it's rated number I don't know two or three in the country. And um, for old wooden coasters and. Uh, they have a water park there now. They keep it up really nice. It's not old or anything looking. It's, you know, it's new. They have a nice... Water parks are nice this time of year. You know, it has the uh, Lazy River. And it has the uh, Wave Pool. And a bunch of, a bunch of those uh, river rides. Just uh, some tubes and stuff. I'll shut off till I get close to it. Alright, here's the uh, amusement park, if you can see it. I need to hit it once a couple of times this year. Southington's kind of a nice New England town. It has a little bit of everything over here. You know, I don't really notice it until I started making videos, you know. That there's a lot here. There's a ski resort. I mean, there's, a, there's a mountain. There's a Southington mountain you can go skiing on. There's a, this. There's a nice little center of town. You know, it's got a lot going on. I like P200s, the scooters, they're just, they're all around nice bikes, they're made for riding long distance, you know, they're good for American roads, they got the little taller gears and speed, and uh, the thing is they're getting expensive now, if you want to get one, if you, even if you get one in kind of bad shape, you should just pick it up and slowly rebuild it, it's just, it's not a, they're not common anymore. People look down on them because they have the 80s style it has, the uh, 70s, late 70s or 80s uh, boxy little style it has. And, you know, the rounder style is more desirable. But now, you know, 80s are kind of trendy, so it's coming, it's, it's, it's getting there. You know, people want this bike more now. And also they realize it's, it's a really great bike to ride. I've been telling people that for a while, but it's going to go up. You know, it's going to be a, a high-priced bike one day. It still is. It is now. I mean, four to six thousand dollars is pretty, you know, pretty substantial compared to ten years ago. This farm is in the like the upper class kind of area in Southington. It's called Farmington, and uh, there's this uh, girls' school with all these. Uh, Ivy League Girls School here, boarding school, and it's really high class, old, old school, they keep everything immaculate over here, oh man, I'm stuck in traffic all day today, I don't know what's going on, but uh, this school is, um, it amazes me how nice they keep some of these old buildings and things here. Houses. The campus goes way back to the left, way in there. Some nice old houses. Must be the boarding houses and stuff. I'll stop here because I don't have that much. I don't think I, I can tape. I don't want to make a huge long tape. I'll stop here. Alright. 
it's a nice road that goes to the farm. Like I said, Farmington's a really like a, it's kind of an expensive place to live in Connecticut. The houses have a little more land. It's a little fancier. It's a nice golf course here. There's a it's just a nice nice area. These are nice roads to ride on back. It's a hot, hot day today. I kind of want to not push the bike too, too hard. It's cooking today. And it shouldn't, should really beat on two strokes when it's this high. They love the cool weather though, two strokes, jeez. It's like 50 degrees, they love that. 40, 45, 50. Gets a better fuel mix with the cold air. Cools the cylinder better. I'm <laughs> in the wrong gear. I'll wait till she pulls her way out. I'm in no rush. And here's a polo though. field. You know, anywhere that has a polo field is going to be a fancy place. <laughs> anyway, to own horses and all that land that needed to have all that, no, it's not really a, a cheap thing to do. Yeah, that's one hobby I won't be getting into. Now, I basically like uh, scooters. I like this uh, e-bike I've been riding a lot two things that make me feel very young lately. And also, uh, I like convertibles. Two-seat small convertibles. All right, we're getting near the farm. This is the farm right here. This is where I come to get produce for the, for the house once in a while. Once a week. Wow, it's crowded here. Oh, I wonder if they'll be mad at me for passing everyone here. Oh, they're parked. Okay. Yeah, well, this is the farmhouse. Just the inside of the farm place. You bring one of these with you. They give you one of these and you fill it up and they give you a list of what you can get over there. And there's the produce on the wall. And they have other things here too. That's a nice little place. Oh, that's about it. That's the whole video. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll film a little piece later. Oh, that's the box of produce uh, I went to get. Thanks for coming along for the ride. And that's the end of the video.